and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to learn how you can create a beautiful gold foil effect using your own brand fonts within Canva. This is a very, very new thing that you can do and something that I used to get requests for this over and over and over again when I was um, like five years ago. Gold foil is probably less in trend wise at the moment, but you can also use this effect for so many other things as well. So let's get into it. Okay, so you might have seen inside Canva, there is a new feature called Magic Morph. It's one of their AI kind of new kind of stuff that's happening around. And I wanna show you how you can use it to create gold foil. And it's really quite straightforward, but there are a little couple of tweaks you need to know to get it perfect. So first things first, just open up a new page in your design and enter in the text that you want. So for me, I just did my name. I'm just gonna do, let's do something cute right now. Um, live your dreams, not cringy at all. All right, now I'm gonna make this into my brand font. So the section here, make it my brand font. So obviously you can use this with any font at all that you have access to inside your Canva. And that is the beauty of it. We like you used to only be able to do this in Photoshop, but now you can do it anywhere. So next you need to select your font and go to the apps section on Canva. If you can't find that, it might be, you know, I'm gonna just scroll up and down a little bit. Then you hit to search here and type in morph. You'll see this magic morph symbol come up. It's a little green M looking thing. Click on that. And here is where the magic happens. In here, you can describe and give a prompt for AI to create whatever you wanted to create. So you could do balloons, you could do a pumpkin, you could do intricate wood carving, flowers, pretzel, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of different things. So if you don't want to use gold foil, think about what kind of things can I use for my brand? I love using like purple metallic bubble. Um, that's a fun one. Or if you're in a clothing business, can you do fabric? Or if you're in a water business, can you do water? Or if you're in just a, just like you do kind of like high end stuff, can you do like this one here, jewels? Um, and so getting really specific with those prompts can be great. If you actually click on some of these, it says bedazzle it with jewels, you can kind of learn how to do those prompts. Colorful, playful, inflatable balloon animals. And so that's how they got that one. So have a look at some of these prompts that Canva gives you and examples to kind of learn how to form the language around this. But today I'm just going to do something simple like gold foil. You're welcome to be more specific with this. And every time you press this button, AI is going to come up with something different for you. So never once have I got the same result here. So you may have to try this one or two times or find your prompt one or two times, but in essence, hopefully we'll get something semi okay to create for us. And so what Canva is going to do is give us four different options that fulfill our different prompt. So what you can do is you can click on these and apply them. And you'll see here that it's applied prompt and that instruction to my exact brand font, which is just so, so wonderful. This is no longer going to be editable. Like I can't retype this, but you could always like retype the text and then re put the prompt in. So I'm just going to remove, I'm just going to make a new page for now so I can add it, add in delete the background. I want to show you how to do that separately. I'm going to click on this and see what it looks like. So you can see this one looks quite nice. I love that there's some, some darkness over here compared to the light here, but it's gone a bit funky with this section here, which isn't ideal. So I'm going to delete that one. If this one's any nicer. So it's really just about going through and seeing what you can find that matches yours. This one's kind of fun. I, I don't mind that one. Um, what's this one? That one's kind of nice. It's got more of a 3D soft look to it. Lots of these are quite nice actually. And that one's a bit funky as well. So I'm just going to pick one of these two. Hmm, well, I will do this one or this one. I'm going to do this one for now, but obviously you'll get your own ideas of what to do there. Next thing I want to do is I actually want to make this more of a rose gold foil. I could have popped that in the prompt, but last time I did that, it didn't really work. So if you actually, what I want to show you now, the point of what I'm showing you now is how you can actually refine the design after it's been spat out. So we well, will notice here, if I press edit, I can't just go in and edit like I would a photo. I can't just go into the adjustments and I can't just change things. I only get the, the only edit option I get is going into back into magic morph and starting again. And so I don't want to do that. I actually quite like this as it is. So what you want to do is actually right click on the design and press download selection. When you do that, you can actually just download that spat out design as a single image. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to download it as a transparent PNG file. If you don't have Canva Pro, you won't be able to do this section because you won't be able to download it as a transparent PNG. Transparent PNG means that the background is totally clear. It's totally see-through. It just means it's very much more versatile. So I'm going to just do PNG and select transparent background and download. Once that's downloaded to my computer, I'm then going to re-upload it into my uploads in Canva and edit that. So you can see here, I've just got it download. So I'm just going to drag that download into my Canva. You can see a few other AI plays over here um, and insert that in. So once that's uploaded, I can actually click on that and press edit photo. 
This snuck gives me the option to edit it in any way that I want to. For me, I want to hit this adjust section because I can change the temperature of it. I can make it quite orange or I could make it quite cool. I could make it more pinky. I could make it more greeny and then kind of just play with a lot of these features, maybe make it a bit less vibrant. Um, and so tweaking it is really helpful in this kind of part. You could also hit the effects section in the filter section. There might be some good options for you in here as well. I'm just going to go back to adjust, just make the temperature a bit more pinky, a bit more warmer. Um, and, and maybe make the saturation a little bit less. All right, I'm really happy with that tone. It's kind of subtle, but it's really beautiful and classy. Next, I wanna add in my background because gold kind of looks really nice when it's on a darker, kind of strong, vibrant background, not vibrant, kind of a strong muted background, to be honest. So I'm actually gonna click on the background now and add in a color. So I could just do a purple color, maybe a nice dark purple. You could do a nice dark, any color, whatever is more related to your branding is probably recommended here. I'm gonna do a purple one here. But what I love doing with this kind of section is creating a gradient. So what you can then do is click on this gradient toggle here, and then I can add in some more colors. So it's canvas automatically added in this one, not really what I want. So I'm actually just gonna press the eyedropper tool and select my original purple and then bring this little circle up so it's a bit lighter. So we're creating some variants there. And then down here, you'll see the different kinds of gradients. So I've got a radial gradient here where it's a circle. I've got a diagonal gradient, any of these, you can kind of choose your preference. I like the radial one, but you'll see here, it's darker in the middle and lighter on the outside. I think it has a better look when it's lighter in the middle and darker on the outside. And it kind of make, makes it look more like a photo of like a book or something, which is kind of the vibe I'm going for. So I'm gonna add that in there. Speaking of book, I've just had an idea. So I'm actually, something you could actually do even do here is like, even just type in leather into the elements section and you could pop like even this into your background, send this back and you can have like a cool little leather kind of look kind of thing. But for me, I'm not going to do that today. Um, what I could do though is add in even some texture. If I'd search text, just really subtle that I could add in a background. I could even just add in this crinkle paper look if I wanted to put this behind my text and change the transparency right down. So it's just really, really subtle there. That's kind of cute. And then maybe I go back to elements here and search maybe rose, gold fleck or glitter or anything like that. I spelled fleck wrong, but it's kind of working out what I want to do. The whole thing there, that's kind of getting a bit too busy and that's not really rose gold. I'm just going to do gold glitter. It's probably getting a bit too hectic, but it could be fun. You could even grab something like this. You could even go for, uh, I could even do this if I wanted to. You could even add some stuff on top of your text. If I grabbed this sparkle here, for example, it made it really, really small. I could pop it on top of my gold here and just duplicate that a couple times in the lighter sections of whatever Canva has come up with. Just creates a little more depth to it. I'm really loving that. And I might just do one more thing. I'm going to try fleck again. It's up here, up this down a little bit there maybe. And you can kind of see this gold look effect thing I've just made in minutes in Canva. And it's got this really beautiful effect placed onto my branding in a really beautiful kind of classy looking way. So that's a fun thing I want you to have a play with. Try all of the different prompts, apply your branding to it. Um, and what I recommend doing is if you do find a prompt that you like for the AI, then use that really consistently. Like say for me, I'm going to try using the, the purple metallic balloon kind of prompt quite regularly. And that's going to become part of my brand. I guess all that to say is if you're a business and you're trying to use this for your social media posts, for example, changing it up all the time is just going to create a really messy looking brand and vibe. And we don't want that. We want a really consistent and recognizable brand. So choose a prompt that you like and use that really regularly, whether it's th that's this gold file for look, whether it's a balloon, whether it's fabric, whether it's water, whatever that is, have a play with that and use that really consistently in your business. So I hope you found that helpful. If you don't know me, I never introduced myself. My name is Jackie. I am a graphic designer who loves teaching business owners all things branding, design, Canva and marketing. So if you want more of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want to learn more from me really, really quickly and a really, really quality stuff, I've got a free challenge. It's three mini videos that you can kind of learn the basics of branding and design so that you can actually create really, really robust graphics for your business that are attracting your clients that are looking professional and are helping you to make money in your business. So I'll pop the links for that at the bottom. You're welcome to do that whenever you would like to. Um, and thank you for being here. I hope that's been a helpful one. Bye.